Today we're going to learn about rotoscoping. To me that always seemed like a really daunting task because I always imagined that I'd be editing point by point, frame by frame, and it would just take hours and hours of work to do a five second clip. Actually, it's damn easy and probably just takes a few minutes. So let's get started. Okay, once you open After Effects, import the two clips that you want, one foreground, one background. Drag one clip down to create a composition. Make sure that your composition is in the right frame rate that you want. Let's fit this to screen. And let's drag the other clip down. Now, for the girl clip, which is the great clip that we're going to rotoscope, we want to make a copy of that. So press Control D, and we could rename. We could rename it to uh, girl front. All right. Let's sandwich the galaxy clip and double click girl so that's highlighted. And now we could go ahead and rotoscope. Rotoscoping is this button up here, the Roto Brush tool. If you hold on to it, you can see Roto Brush tool and Roto Refine Edge tool. We're gonna start off with the Roto Brush tool. Super quick and easy. Just draw a line. You don't have to be too specific. You could already see how fast this thing is. There you go. Alright, and then what you could also do is you could hold control and you drag your mouse to make it bigger or smaller. Alright, and alt, hold alt to negate the rotoscope effect. Alright, cool, and so press control and do the mouse wheelie thing, and you can zoom in through that. And you can see that, um, you know, there's a couple problems, right? The little tutu, uh, the little feathers here, they're not rotoscoped. That needs to be refined. And then we have this part right here that is not rotoscoped. So let's, let's go ahead and fix that. All right. So these details we could fix with the Refine Edge tool. Um, and basically it works the same exact way. Just drag it right through. And there you go. So that's basically it. I mean, now you press spacebar and you let it render. After Effects only uh, renders uh, a little bit at a time. So make sure you drag this part out right here so it could continue rendering. Because this is a silhouette, because the motion is slow, and because there's not that many other elements in this clip, Rotoscoping this is very, very easy, but when it comes to something more complex, it would be a little bit more time consuming. Cool, let's take a look at how it turned out. Alright, that looks really good already. There is a little bit of um, problem with the tutu, but let's go ahead and fix that. So let's see where the problem starts. Cool, so go back to the layer. Hold down Alt. And let's clear up some stuff here. Okay. All right, looks pretty good. I'm looking at my um, recording time and it's less than 10 minutes. So you could do this by yourself in under 10 minutes. Obviously there's a lot of other things you could do to make it more convincing, such as perfecting all the edges, color correcting, feathering. I'm not going to get into that because the list of things that you could do to make it absolutely perfect is endless. But, I mean, here's a great introduction to rotoscoping. I hope you take it away. I'm sure if you Google rotoscoping use cases, you can find a lot of inspiration online. I know one filmmaker, he couldn't figure out a match cut because the two clips are too different. So he just rotoscoped birds into both clips and it worked out perfectly. Anyways, that ends our tutorial today. And tomorrow I'll be back with another Teach to Learn challenge, another video tutorial. So, see you guys tomorrow.